A former President Donald Trump is expected to make a quote big announcement in Mar-a-Lago. Two weeks ago, he teased a third presidential run while campaigning for the midterm elections. We'll let you know what his announcement is. Now, as votes are tallied in the second congressional district race, a new lead emerges in Virginia Beach. Representative Elaine Loria took the lead in the district's largest city. It's still not enough to defeat Republican Jen Kiggins, who won the second district. Kiggins' win helped push Republicans closer to a majority in the House. ABC's Justin Finch is in Washington. Thank you. In Arizona, a razor thin race for governor now called. ABC News projecting Democrat Katie Hobbs as the winner. Hobbs tweeting that democracy is worth the wait and that she's honored to serve as Arizona's next governor. Her opponent, Carrie Lake, tweeting, Americans know BS when they see it. In Washington, newly elected members of Congress on Capitol Hill. I feel very comfortable that we will have the majority. ABC News estimating Republicans are ahead of Democrats in the race to a 218 seat House majority. Across the Capitol, Democrats have secured Senate control with wins in Arizona and Nevada. Both parties now eager to win Georgia's December runoff Senate race between incumbent Democrat Raphael Warnock and Republican Herschel Walker. With Trump's 2024 re-election launch widely expected today, calls are growing for him to delay that announcement. With the Georgia Senate runoff looming and the underperformance of Trump-backed candidates, Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Okay, Justin, thanks. And we're keeping a close eye on the midterm election outcomes. For the latest results, head to 13newsnow.com and search midterm election results.